What's up guys, welcome back to another PVM coaching video where I'm going to be taking a look at one of my viewers kills. This one I believe is at Raksha, seeing as it's called Raksha Kill, who would have guessed? <laughs> I guess that's kind of obvious. But what we do in these videos is, while I am not the absolute best PVM in the, PVMer in the world, I do take a look at clips that people think I could probably help them with. Uh, and then if we look at what they're doing and see if we can give any advice to help them out. So what we're going to do is take a look. If you guys see anything as well, drop it in the comments down below. Only helpful things though, because any toxic stuff just gets removed and you also get banned from commenting on the channel so keep that in mind but otherwise um let's take a look at this and see if we can help you improve your kill times your your just your pvm experience in general at raksha or just overall but this is good because other people who uh, are watching can also learn from what i've given as well if it's if it's related to you and then also it lets me see things that i wouldn't normally expect people to be struggling with for example so let's take a look at your gear to begin with we'll just let it go you've got a, a noxious staff you have the uh elite at times or just normal tectonic it's absolutely fine as well wait what was in the essence of finality let's take a look the essence of finality has a gothic staff which is great to see great damage um obviously that's what i use in mine as well you have um dual elder wand and orb and you have a noxious staff as well which is kind of um probably the first thing i'll say is you will get more damage out of your dual wield than you will of your noxious staff so unless the noxious staff is like a planted feet switch or something uh, which I don't think it will be considering chroming fours on your wand. I reckon planted feet's going to be on either your book or on your orb. We'll see what you show on the orb in a second. Planted feet's in there. So this is going to be your planted feet swap by the look of it. Um, and then you're probably going to main hand the staff. I would swap that around. Because you have great concentrated blast down here, you're going to get more damage out of that than you would do from just having a, a, a noxious staff as your main hand. Maybe you're going to four tick. We'll see what happens. There's no point in jumping into it. You're on revolution though, which is why I sort of assume you're not going to four tick. Use a maniacal or you got care wrist wraps your setup looks absolutely fine the only thing i would change is that i would probably if you're just camping weapons just stick to your dual wield great concentrated blast tends to give more damage than a uh, a tier 90 staff so uh, it's just too good it's just too good in which case you would also put i believe great concentrated blast at the beginning of your bar uh, and then your bleeds before that maybe uh, but i'll link down below uh, the wiki page for uh, revolution bars that's the easiest way for me to do it there's a calculator on there i'll tell you exactly which revolution bar to use uh, so for anyone wondering i will link that down below rather than me commenting on the revolution bar so great to see already straight away you immediately start off with smoke cloud as we'll see in just a second just watch that again and then you sunshine and adrenaline potion straight away this is like brilliant to see you're gonna sunshine you're gonna smoke cloud here i'm pretty certain yep you did and then we're gonna see a vaughn bomb too yes you clicked on the bar i guess you've got the target one works great and your prayer flicking absolutely great so soul split into range and then you're going to go into the, the melee one beautiful look at that so your prayer flex seem pretty great um you may need the old bit of practice here and there we'll see but um yeah so you just used i think you just used omni power did you just use omni power there yeah you got the zook cape you do have the zook cape perfect so that's good um so you are camping the noxious staff which again it would have just been easier or better overall to use the um the actual just dual wield it, it just works out as more damage because of the crit chance that you get from it whereas the staff only gives you um it only gives you accuracy on the next hit your accuracy is i think 100 percent here seeing as you're not using reaver's ring um but yeah so you do have spiritual prayer potions in your inventory you are you are pretty, i can't really fault anything of your inventory you've got the, the spear and the laceration boots uh, to clear the pools with which is great you've got vulnerability bombs love to see it you've got spiritual prayer potions and you have elder overload potion and, and a super uh, super prayer renewal thing you could get combination potions i don't use them so i'm not going to say anything about that i'm lazy i don't use them it is what it is um i'm interested to see what is on your virtus book if we do get to that point I, i'm not too sure yet but we'll have to see what it is you are using ripper demon as well with scrolls so this is just like spot on good to see um I'm interested in seeing what how we can actually help you here. Do you get the skip? Oh, you didn't get the skip. Okay. So that could just be down to damage. But you should be able to skip that um, from the gear that you've got. But, but like I say, if you just use the dual wield, we'll go back to the beginning again just for a second. So I want to show you something. If you just use dual wield here um, and just camp that off with Greater Concentrator Blast, you could technically, if you wanted to, I suppose, use Tsunami. Uh, I would recommend using Exanguate, though, when you don't have a Staff of Armadil. The Insight Veil spell costs an absolute fortune. It is ridiculous how expensive it is. The Blood Runes have gone up by a ton. The um, Water Runes have gone up by a ton. And it, it, the Soul Runes have come down a little bit, but not enough to justify it. It's so expensive. It's like, I would say it's like 
easily 7, 8k, maybe even more per ability damage. Not per cast, but per ability damage. So it's, it's ridiculous. Then when you use Tsunami, obviously it's good to have the buff of the adrenaline. But we'll see how you do with d dumping that adrenaline. Maybe you've listened to the other videos and you're like, yeah, we're going to dump that Gothic Staff. Maybe you'll do that. But we'll see what happens. But Exanguate gives you the, the extra bleed and stuff. It gives you uh, Wreck and Ruin. And it gives you more damage over time as well from um, basic abilities. So it is definitely worth using if you aren't going to use the adrenaline properly. But we'll see what happens. We haven't seen yet. You don't have high adrenaline right now. So it's good. So you've used Gothic Staff already at some point. So that's great to see too. And you are going to be using... Um, you are making use of your thresholds. Now what, what I would have done here is... You're going to use that fixed yet in a minute I think. You're going to move away. What I would have done here is while you're doing this first phase, because if you can skip this first one, the next one is so easy to skip. Like, you're only 60k off, and this one thing is going to make a difference, but a few damage rotation changes will. Um, drink down in your spiritual prayer potions every time you are letting your Rapid Demon, like, drop down to zero prayer uh, uh, summoning points here would increase your damage quite a bit. You want to down those prayer potions, spiritual prayer potions, maybe bring one more. Uh, we'll see if you need all this food or not. I'm going to say you probably don't. Uh, and just keep drinking them every time that's not full just drink a dose it'll keep, it'll keep that spec off again and it'll help your damage out a hell of a lot so you are one spec off of actually getting through this for, for damage which isn't terrible um but what i would do at the beginning is just um build up with greater concentrated blast on dual wield of course and then use your wild magic your asphyxiate and detonate uh, with a gothic staff maybe uh, and then just literally dump gothic staff over and over again until you phase and you should be able to skip with that as long as you're using that ripper demon it shouldn't really be a, uh, too big of a problem. But you're not getting anywhere near the heal thing, so it's okay. So you're going to Sunshine again here, which I think is actually good, seeing as you don't have Staff Spec, you don't have Staff of Armadil. Um, I'm pretty sure otherwise it's not really worth Sunshining, but I think here, with the 150k damage that you had left to do, that was, that's pretty good. You're about to phase again, though, and you do have 20 seconds left on that. You might get most of it by the time we get there. We'll see what happens. Your Prayer Flicks are pretty solid, to be honest. Like, it's not, your prayer flicks are pretty much spawn. You're good with the um, dodging of that. The only problem with revolution is this is going to kind of hold you back a little bit. When you're running away, you're just not going to do anything, right? You have to click on the boss again. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how your, your pool clears are. You're going to put on your, your spear and your boots. And then you are going to blade it down through them. Perfect. Looking pretty great. Looking good, looking good. A bit. <laughs> Let me know in the comments or just message me on Discord afterwards. Do you die to these pools quite a bit? If you do, the reason being is when you're doing that, I'm assuming you're probably unable to eat your food while you're, do while you're doing that. Because when you land on these pools, they can hurt quite a bit. It can really do a lot of damage. Um, so if that's possible, if that is a thing, I can't really see what your keybinds are because of the video quality. But if you have your food keybound, um, do you have your food keybound? I don't think you... Oh, it's there. Okay. So you got F and you got F on that. I don't know if you're going to be able to use control and whatever it is on, on, on the blade of dive and then also press F. But if you can, then great. Um, but if not, then try and put your blade of dive keybind next to your food one when you're at Ratchet at least. And then that way you can eat while you're blade of diving uh, and it'll keep you alive. But you, I mean, you, you ate up before you did it. So you might have, you might already expect it and have already dealt with it, which is another way you could do that, of course. Okay, so when you get back on Rax, I just want to see if he is still smoke clouded and vulned. He is vulned, he is not smoke clouded, but I guess you could probably do that when you go through to the next room. Vulns just run out, we'll see if you reapply that. Um, your DPS isn't terrible though, because you've got you've got the Omnis coming out, you've got your Adrenaline down low, like you are making use um, of your Adrenaline really well, like you really are, you're doing a good job with that, it's good to see. Um, because it's still worth keeping in mind that you are on a noxious staff. Uh, you would definitely get more damage out of the, the dual wield, 100%. 100% you would. Um, Book of When being pretty useful there. I, I don't know. If, I think Jazz might be better in Raksha. Uh, again, I'm not absolutely certain, but I think Book of Jazz is actually better here. If you want in some like a cheaper version. I don't want to suggest full because it might be too expensive. You've got 10 mil in your cash pouch. Um, but a Book of Jazz is like 5 or 6 mil, and I'm pretty sure it can hit like 30k's on the second phase. Okay, so you got through nice and smooth. You didn't have to do pulls twice. This is fine. It's pretty good. Um, so no problem. We'll check if you're going to re -vuln. I think he... You probably... I think you probably will at some point. We'll see what happens. 
We want to be sun shining here, which I think you're building up for. You are lovely. Look at this. this you're doing great. There's your Vuln Bomb as well. And if you could, what you can do here, because you probably aren't going to get it off now. What you can do, though, is whenever you use Sunshine or whenever you use a defensive, you can then spam click your keybind for Smoke Cloud, right? So you've got the keybind there. I think it's Control 9, yeah? So what you can do is because you, you will have to either four tick between the, the dual wield and a one to get the, sorry, the dual wield and a staff to get that off mid fight or um you can every time you use sunshine every, every time you use defensive something that doesn't deal damage to raksha if you then spam click the the keybind for um for smoke cloud it will cast it for you you can do the same with auto attacks as well you'll get like a blood barrage off or another bit of damage off or anything but you can apply your smoke cloud every time you sunshine by just sunshining and then spamming that ability until it goes off because it will put you on the the global cooldown and long enough for you to um cast that off on your next thing so it's definitely worth keeping in mind because you could have applied that here um one thing i would definitely like to see you do more of is just drink way more spiritual prayer potions because you you absolutely have used like one or two doses i think i think one dose you've used so far that's a lot of damage you will definitely get a lot of damage out of doing that uh, so down the crap out of those dude like you have you have two left and you're, you're not you're not too far off getting the kill just absolutely demolish them they are they are basically liquid damage in, that, in this point but you want to be getting see how your familiar is here you want to be standing on these steps here and calling your familiar with the whistle um and that way he'll go in the middle. It's a stupid, annoying bug. I don't know if it's a bug. It's just the familiar pathing is terrible. Um, but stand on the, the the steps and just click that whistle and he'll come up. See how he's just standing there at the bottom again? It's so freaking annoying, dude. Like, it, it really is. Because you've brought the, the potions. You're drinking them because so they go back up. And you just you just sort of... He's just chilling, not really helping you out. It, it's kind of... It's irritating, to be fair. Like, I, I get it. I always forget, too. I'm so glad I use Calgarian Demon now because of the staff spec for the same reason um, but the ripper demons definitely still worth pulling him up you will save a lot of time doing that overall though your kills pretty smooth like i think you completely understand the mechanics you must have quite a few kills here i would say because you're, you're doing really well with it um your prayer flicks are pretty much spot on your your damage output is great like your adrenaline is never full it's great to see your adrenaline is never full. Uh, you've used the you used the, the the anima stuff. Wait, how many? How much anima did, anima did you actually get? You got eight, so that's perfect as well. You didn't run all the way around. Um, and I don't know. This is just it's just good to see you're doing you're doing really well. It's just going to be a few things which we'll talk about uh, once we get through the entire kill, and then uh, that's pretty much it. Like, uh, there's not a ton to say with this, but there's a couple of things that will become kind of useful for you. Uh, using maniacal as well, of course. So you you damage. Um, the taking while using Maniacal is absolutely fine because you are soul splitting in between so you'll be absolutely fine with that uh, and you do have the brew food as well so you'll be fine so checking out this last bit of damage here what I probably would be doing right now is just building up as many basics as you can and dumping off the gothic staff it's the second that you, you this off cooldown um whenever your your asphyxiate or wild magic is off because as soon as you use those two before staff of armadillo you kind of just want to fire of gothic staff all the time it does loads of damage and it's just it's just worth doing okay so you picked up a few more anima you got the kill done and you got <laughs> and you got blast diffusion boots ah oh, rip <laughs> that's unfortunate but hey i guess you get at least you got to drop plus the one that you already got so it's a bit of extra cash right so overall overall i think this is pretty great, right? This is this is pretty good. I don't have much to complain about. Um, well, not really complain, but much to like explain about. What I would suggest you do work on, absolutely, is one: get rid of your sell your noxious staff, dude. Sell it. Just sell the staff. It's not worth having, in all honesty. You're not four ticking. Sell it. Keep your dual wield on. One: when you want to use a shield, it's way easier because you still have a one on when you put it on. Two. The staff is less damaged than using dual wield because of Great Concentrator Blast. Obviously, the, the tier 95 staff, the staff of Armadil, is better than dual wield if you're going to camp them because it's got the spec. The Noxious staff spec is terrible. It doesn't do anything. You'll never use it. And the, the accuracy and the damage that you get is just not worth it. The tier 85 wand and orb that you've got, they have tier 90 accuracy. They have a little bit less damage, but Great Concentrator Blast makes up for it and um, goes past the tier 90 Noxious staff. 100% it will. And also, you get the crit chance from that as well. So, you're going to be using Great Concentrator Blast and then the base. Basic, great concentrated blast and the basic, and then you create concentrated blast and thresholds whenever you've got them. You are great at using your thresholds and not wasting adrenaline. You are good at saving up for the sunshine as well, and you're doing a really good job with it. 
One thing you could use more that, that I didn't see you use once, I don't think, is detonate with uh, releasing that with a, an auto and um, wild magic. So, for example, what you could do is you could press 9. You might already know this, and maybe you just didn't do it in this fight, and that's fine. Or maybe I missed it. Press 9 for to charging up detonate, and then as soon as it charges to 100%, because you have blast fusion boots, so you, you might use detonate already. But as soon as that's done, you would then press G for blood barrage, and then you would press 9 to release... Um, the, the the detonate and then you would instantly press six for wild magic so you would press g96 and it would fire off the detonate an auto attack and the wild magical in the same tick dealing a hell of a lot of damage so it's definitely worth keeping that in mind and that's probably one of your better threshold combos before staff of armadillo like it does more damage than most stuff it was i used to use it all the time constantly and i still do whenever my staff spec is down so definitely worth keeping in mind there's not really much else for me to say do you use your adrenaline pot on the next phase i don't think you you did did you did you use it no okay so when you use sunshine on this phase you could have used your adrenaline potion to build your adrenaline up again a little bit that's one thing you could have done i guess you probably you probably was being yeah smacked in the head by some melee hits and stuff it is what it is your von bomb use bomb usage is good um like i say your threshold is good there's not a ton that i would say i could say you could probably use gothic staff a little bit more you just use it then but whenever your thresholds are high gothic staff is going to be better than using like deep impact it's going to be better than using like tendrils i don't think you use tendrils to be honest unless you've used tsunami in which case fair enough for the adrenaline build but gothic staff will do more than deep impact so it's worth using over that too uh but otherwise yeah like i say drink your spiritual prayer potions work on using gothic staff instead of things like deep impact and stuff um you can remember to use smoke cloud when you use sunshine and stuff uh, remember your adrenaline potion and then get rid of the noxious staff just just get rid of it get your greater concentrated blast sorted out put it at the beginning of your bar after your bleeds or something um check on the wiki for the the, the repo bar or message me on discord and i'll find the one for you and send it to you but otherwise you're doing great and your kill times will increase with time it, it is what it is it's just how it works um well, the one thing I would suggest you do is if you're camping your dual wield, I would change your perks on your dual wield to be what you would expect, like aftershock and precise, that sort of thing, uh, equilibrium as well. And then I would have one switch for planted feet, whether that's just, I don't know, uh, another wand or something or another book. I don't know what's on your book. I'm going to assume it's like lunging or something. Um, but I really, I really don't know. Flanking, maybe. Uh, I, I couldn't even begin to guess i don't think you showed us at the beginning but yeah so that's what i'd suggest for you if it helps or if it helps anyone else as well then i'm glad do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and uh that's pretty much it for today thank you very much for submitting the clip channel members thank you so much for your extra support your names will be on the screen right now of course but otherwise thanks all for watching i appreciate it and i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye